Welcome back to our three-part series about trout spay. My name is Sean Vicentainer with the Silver Bow Fly Shop in Spokane, Washington. In this third and final segment, we're going to discuss four different techniques. Nymphing, swinging, stripping, and a combination of kind of a rod tip twitch or jigging. One really successful technique with a trout spay is nymphing. Nymphing, just like a single hander, is going to require an indicator, split shot, and some nymphs, one or two. The one big thing, or one big key to trout spay nymphing is the cast, okay? Some of your casts aren't going to work that great with the indicator and the split shot and the heavy flies, but the one cast that we find that works really well is the double spay. The double spay is a very simple cast. It's an anchor, a D-loop, and a delivery stroke, but that double spay allows you to change direction from going downstream to an upstream angle very easily, allowing for long, drag-free drifts that you want to achieve while nymphing. One of the main styles of trout spay fishing techniques is swinging. Whether it's swinging soft tackles or swinging streamers, it's very similar to swinging with a single hand rod or swinging with larger steelhead spay rods. So we're going to go ahead and make a cast here and set up our swing. River's going to our left, so I'm going to make a classic kind of snap tee cast. You can mend upstream to slow your swing down, or if you're trout spay fishing, oftentimes you can mend with a downstream to increase your speed of your fly and fish that fly broadside to the fish. So, in addition to just swinging your fly, another technique is stripping your fly as it swings. This, in particular for trout spay, is a very effective technique. Oh, there's a fish. <laughs> just like that. Strip it, woo! As you can see, giving it a little action can make a big difference between just a uh, steady swing or a little more erratic swing like this. We have a little kind of leech pattern on and a little movement there made all the difference in the world when we hooked a nice rainbow trout. So when you're fighting a trout on a trout spay rod, you can use that butt of that rod against your forearm to add a little leverage, okay? These rods have a lot of shock absorption, so let the rod do the work. They're really fun. It's a really neat way to catch fish swinging or stripping flies. Nice red band here. Rods are a little bit longer. Be careful when you're putting your sink tip into your rod. There we go. Of course, I didn't, wasn't prepared with my net, but that's all right. Nice red band. We'll let them go back in and we'll go back to our techniques. Thank you, fish. Thanks for the nice little interruption. Well, that doesn't happen every time we film, but you can at least see the effectiveness of trout spay now. So what we were starting to say before that uh, trout so rudely interrupted was that the strip can make a huge difference. And you can speed up that strip if the water's warm and fish are aggressive, or you can slow it down in just a slow little kind of medium strip. But change up that retrieve, oftentimes it results in some pretty good success rates. So the other type of technique is either a rod tip twitch or a jigging action. Just like stripping a fly, this imparts some action onto your fly as it swings across. But you can either pop the rod tip to the side, giving that fly an erratic action, or you can pop that rod tip up and down with the line using the tension of the water, giving that fly kind of a jigging-like action. Either way though, giving the fly a little action can make a big difference. That wraps up our three-part series about trout spay. Hopefully that gives you a better understanding of what trout spay is, what lines to use, and some techniques to use while you're out trout spay fishing. If you have any questions, please let us know. You can reach us at silverbowflyshop.com, call or email us. Thanks.